Jones to fill. From the 13-yard line, Dante Culpepper in the pocket, and he's going to get sacked by Joey Porter. What else is new? He had 10 and a half last season. That's Joey Porter. He's going to come from the outside here. The tackle blocks down. They try and block him with a back. That is not going to happen. If you block Joey Porter all night with a back, Joey Porter will sack your quarterback. So Charlie Batch will come back for his third series. Charlie, as a rookie out of Eastern Michigan, was a starter with the Detroit Lions under Bobby Ross. He supplanted Scott Mitchell. He started 46 games in four seasons. He was their regular. Then they drafted Joey Harrington. That made him expendable. He went to school right up the river in Homestead, PA, which actually you can see Homestead from the Steeler practice facility. Oh, in the running game. Neither team exhibiting anything offensively until now with a quick pass to Heath Miller coming off an excellent rookie season. Tackled by Travaris Tillman and the initial first down of the night for the Pittsburgh Steelers. There's no bubble. I think I got it. And the catch is made here by Santonio Holmes, their number one draft choice out of Ohio State. They traded up from the 32nd spot. It's to go in the period out of the shotgun. Stepping up, buying time. He's going to run, and he's going to come up about a yard shy of the first down. Fourth and one from the 39. Or they could just try to draw Miami offside. If they don't, they're going to run it. They're going to flip it to Parker. Going the other way. And before they can run him down, he picks up the first down. So some misdirection to the left side after making it a strong side, right side formation. And Andre Goodman makes the tackle. Offens make that tough for you. Third down and two. Here comes the blitz. Back stays in. Protection is good. And getting open for the moment and making the catch is Nate Washington for a touchdown. Watch out here. You're going to see Washington becomes the outside guy. And the ball gets here just a step before Tillman. Charlie Batch makes a heck of a throw because he kind of puts it where Washington is either going to go up and get it for a touchdown or it's going to be incomplete. 26-yard line. A dump off to Parker. He's going to get chased. Turns it back inside and picks up the first down. Crowder made the tackle. Chased. When you have speed, you're being chased. You don't get caught. I mean, here you know, he was a kid you know, that was never hit and tagged because he just has more quickness and speed than the rest of the guys. And if you give, give him a step, he is going to get that first down for you. I mean, that play should have been no yardage at all. Got around Spragan, second undrafted running back. The other would be Priest Holmes, the only undrafted backs to gain more than 1,200 yards. And Willie Parker, he did get on track in a hurry. The minute you mention it, he picks up another first down. He broke out of a Zach Thomas tackle that time. Here it is now. He starts to the inside, bounces to the outside a little, off of Zach Thomas tackle right there, and then just keeps going. That's the direction he went in the Super Bowl. He said he had Fanica pulling and making a block to spring him that time. This is a 32-yard game. And we're back on second down and goal with backs throwing to the back of the end zone. And the official takes one more look and signals touchdown. Hines Ward. Savers, it's Hines Ward. And you see he's just going to take up there. And, and you have one guy short. Hines Ward takes the back or the end line. And Charlie Batch gets it right to him. We have a guy right on the goal line and high yard line. First down. First and goal. And Paul Pepper throws, and that's incomplete. Turning around at the goal line. You see, when you get tight coverage like that, you just throw it to his back shoulder. And by the time Chambers got turned around, Ike Taylor was in good position. If he got it to that back shoulder the next game, though. Yeah, at Jacksonville, it's a week from Monday as Murray kicks off. We start the second half. In Pittsburgh, Santonio Holmes, the Ohio State rookie, the number one draft choice, up past the 30, and then Mari bounces him out of bounds at close to the 39-yard line. Ward sets up in the slot on the left. Looking that way, Ward makes the catch. And a first down over the 48-yard line on a third and seven. Heinz Ward, Super Bowl MVP. Backs. A lot of time, and then throws, and it's caught over the middle. Hines Ward makes the catch. Allen and Hill. With today's scouting systems, I have no idea. 
went through the cracks and the Steelers are the beneficiary. And as he does here, just up the field and right back in. I, I mean, he knows there's a guy behind him that's going to hit him. There's a nose he's going into a guy that's going to hit him. Here and throw a quick screen. Charlie Batch gets the ball, just turns out. He has he has two blockers out in front of him on a screen, and that's enough to get the first down. 10 49 yard line. The Miami 49. Feeling the pressure. Stepping up, stepping out. Slides for a first down. And then Thomas comes in at the end. So he can still pump it and fake it, even though he's by the line of scrimmage. And it will still affect defenders. Yeah, he does because on the slide, when they go feet first, they give up. Here's Parker, and Parker bursts through the middle, finding room up the gut. Play. Inside handoff, trickery. They give it to Nate Washington. Can he get the first? Yes, he can with an extra burst. They're going to do it, and you don't know what it's going to be. Here they hand off on the run, and then they hand off the reverse, and then Nate Washington makes that, that, that move right there to get the first down. I was talking about Heinz Ward and the type of Heinz Ward and the type of thing he does. He yard line, a minute and a half into the fourth period. Parker. Two times. Make it two dozen. Make it a first down. And Batch said, nope, the ball just slipped out of my hands. Mm. Oh, and then Paul Amalo tries to make a jump on the pass from the 41-yard line. And that flip goes back to Brown. And Brown cannot get out of the backfield. Ike Taylor up from the corner to knock him down. You know, it was interesting. They tried to run that same short yardage play that the Steelers ran to Willie Parker. You lead the batch, and now Charlie will have to lead another long drive to get him back into at least field goal range. And he starts beautifully with a perfectly thrown ball to Heath Miller, the tight end, who's inside the 30, the 20, inside the 10, and Heath Miller is in for the touchdown everyone here you see he's Miller right there he's a tight end he starts to the inside he runs a corner all the defense has been run off there was no one back there and Charlie Batch hits him perfectly timing of the flag right and it was still a great play by Pittsburgh and and, and Nick Saban did challenge late. and that's picked off by Polamalu who's inbounds before he steps out of bounds and so they take the lead and get the turnover. Make the play. Here he is. You just see him. He's just playing center field here. He's just reading. He sees Culpepper turn to his right. He just starts off to that side. And then he has a great burst and instinct and reaction to the ball. They're just watching the things that this guy does. Third and three from the shotgun. Gets it off. That'll be a first down. That'll move the chains. And always knew that. I mean, you always felt that Heinz Ward would play. And as you say, John, play the whole game. Parker to the outside. And look at him out there blocking. Who's yeah. the guy that's leading for Willie Parker? I mean, you talk about Heinz Ward. But they can stop the clock at the two-minute warning. They have plenty of time here. You get down the field, and then Joey Porter picks it off. So you have Palomano pick him off one. Porter picks off the other. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Well, you got a lot of studs on that defense, but those are the two big ones. As a defender, see him starting, and then he just goes back, and then he undercuts that pass. Culpepper looked out there, saw Joey Porter as a rusher, then the ball snapped, Joey Porter became a pass defender, and a pretty good one. make that hit but then you can't taunt the guy and that's a little excessive celebration I mean that's a good hit but that's a back six defensive backs whatever they're all good tacklers and big hitters and there's a sack who else Joey Porter holy moly what did Joey Porter just say there he said the game is over that's, that's what I think he's saying Dante Culpepper don't come in my house and do that Watch him, he gives the Culpepper roll. Mm -hmm. I kind of said to myself, that, that doesn't mean they're going to lose the game. Mm -hmm. And the way it looks right now, they will not lose the game as James Farrier comes up the middle for the sack. There's your final score, the Pittsburgh Steelers beating the Miami Dolphins on opening night.
here in the Steel City. The final score, 28 to 17. I want you to know that uh, the defensive guy is deferring you to start going first. Three touchdowns, but the most controversial one, the Heath Miller. From your vantage point, what did you see? I saw, I mean, all day they were kind of sitting, and we, you know, had the right call on. Coach Wilson Hunt had made a right, good call. Uh, we actually had a corner route right behind a, a curl route. A corner bit on it just like we thought, and it had a great right over the top of it, and he did a really good job of scoring on that play. What does it mean to you personally to come in here in your hometown and to engineer this kind of win? It's great. I mean, it, you know, it, it's, it's definitely a blessing, you know, to come out here and, and have this opportunity. But when you start a new season, you know, it's something for us that we want to we start off fast, and it's the first opportunity to do that. Thanks very much, Charlie. Of course, it doesn't hurt to have a defensive performance like this. All of a sudden, back-to-back -back interceptions, Troy Palomalu, then yours returned for the touchdown. What were you suddenly able to see with Dante Culpepper? Well, we just knew we put him in a situation where they had to pass the ball. And, uh, you know, on that play, particular play, I was reading the quarterback, and I got in the middle of the throwing lane where he wanted to go. And, you know, those opportunities don't come around a lot. So I had my chance to make a play. I just had to make it. All right. It was a great play, but what are you doing kissing your head coach? Oh, that's my guy, man. I told you, I mean, me and him go back farther than, than you guys can ever imagine. You know what I mean? I love him. I mean, that's my guy. He know I go to war for him in any, any type of situation. How important was it to get this first win of the season? Oh, it was big, you know. For some reason, even though we defend the champs, we're still not even picked to do nothing. You know what I mean? We come into this game still picked to lose. So we like it that way. We like it when we come out here and chip on our shoulders and make us go out there performing our best. And when you guys do it like that and don't pick us, we come out and perform well. Thanks very Bakersfield, much. California. I'm always holding down, baby. Joey Porter with a final word. Pittsburgh wins it 28-17 this Sunday.